Well, it may have rained a little bit last week, but even then, agriculture experts say the drought's damage on crops has been done. Barbara Ron joins us live now in the studio. Barbara, is there any way to come back from this? Eric, although there's no way to go back in time, experts I spoke with say the focus is now on providing aid to farmers who need water for their crops and hay for their animals. The ongoing drought has caused many farms to quickly adapt. We have turned some meadows that we were keeping the hope for, for second cutting hay. We have turned cattle in on them for pasture. But even in severe drought, drizzles here and there have provided some relief with hay production for farmers like Randall Snyder in Randolph County. It has helped the grass situation. It has woke the grass up. It's starting to green up a little bit, but we haven't got enough moisture to raise our water table. Even with the awakening of this grass, the Snyders were only able to get 185 square bales during the second cutting this year, down from the usual 400. But some farms in areas like the Eastern Panhandle have not been lucky enough to get another cutting. Farmers are starting to feed, it's already started, and been for a while, feeding the hay, their winter food supply, they're feeding it now because the grass isn't growing. The West Virginia Department of Agriculture partnered up with the Farm Service Agency to implement a hay exchange program in the state, where farmers with extra hay can contact the local county's FSA to be added to the hay for sale list. And just last week, Governor Jim Justice launched the Emergency Drought Relief Reimbursement Grant Program to provide financial assistance to counties under severe or extreme drought conditions where local agencies like fire department and conservation districts that have provided water to farms in need will be reimbursed for those expenses. For farmers like Randall Snyder, who may still have some trouble with his hay production, he has his mind set on giving back to his community. I feel I'm going to have a little extra hay for to help some of my neighbors out. The Agriculture Commissioner advises farmers to keep receipts of any drought-driven costs like extra hay, a water tank, or anything else that was an additional need this year for federal or state grants available in the future for farmers. For, for information on how you can sell or buy hay or in the governor's new grant, you can visit our website at wby.com. Live in the studio, Barbara Ron, 12 News.